I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of electronic principles and circuit. So in this session, uh, I'm going to discuss most important questions from the subject electronic principles and circuit, especially from module one. I request everybody that don't miss this particular session because most of the questions you can uh, expect uh, in this particular fashion. So moving on to the discussion, uh, the, first the first question is, explain the working of voltage divider by a circuit using BJT. Whenever you're answering, uh, try to mention the particular circuit. Okay, like this, you can see the voltage divider. This is an example of voltage divider by C. You can see like, uh, you must have known about the voltage division formula. So please follow up this particular diagram. Then you can explain why biasing is required, how the voltage division and biasing will be helpful for uh, like maintaining the stability of the transistor. Okay, so those things you can explain. Okay, so uh, what is the need for biasing? So you, whenever you are explaining about biasing, you need to talk about how the BJT will be turning on because you need to provide the suitable gating current. So what is the significance of that particular uh, current? How do you control that particular base current? Those things you have to explain. Next one is actually build the second second question is uh, build the negative clamber circuit and a positive clamber circuit. Diagram is mandatory. So you should know what is clipper and clamber. So clamber can be uh, done by using the capacitor, right? Sketch the input and output waveforms. Very simple question only. Negative and uh, negative and positive clamber. There are different type of negative clamber and uh, try to follow up the configurations. Uh, ho uh, hopefully this question will be asked for 10 marks. Okay. So for positive clamber, 5 marks. Negative clamber, 5 marks. The first question also will be having the weightage of 10 marks only. Analyze the accurate VDB analysis. What is source resistance, load resistance, stiff voltage divider, uh, firm voltage divider, cross approximation. Okay, so it's one of the th uh, so analytical type question. So please uh, refer your notes and find it out. If you require the notes, I will up I'll upload at the like in my description box. I'll be uploading the notes. Then analyze the collector emitter voltage shown in figure. You can see here. Just a moment. Let me clear the screen. So let me continue the question number four. So refer the particular uh, figure, which is shown in the figure one. Okay, so make a note. Explain VDB load line Q point and calculate the Q point for the given figure two and plot the output current versus VCE. IC versus VCE graph you need to plot. You should have a good idea about what is the graph, shape of the graph that is uh, output. IC means uh, collector current, output current versus collector emitter voltage. So what is the shape you should know. Okay. Next one is simplify the analysis of two supply emitter by circuit and calculate the collector emitter voltage shown in figure three. Uh, next is build the circuit diagram for the type of bias with the relevant equation. Emitter feedback bias, collector feedback bias, collector emitter feedback bias. Those things you should have a good idea about the circuit diagrams because in this... Uh, in this subject, you can see like most of the questions are based on circuit. We should have a good idea about the circuits. Explain the concept of emitter follower circuit. You might have done the same uh, like a uh, topic in the laboratory session, emitter follower. Okay, BJT. Using the BJT, you can make the emitter follower. And mention the expression for output impedance uh, of an emitter follower amplifier and draw the equivalent circuit. Okay. So using like uh, what I can say. So you should have a particular circuit and... Uh, you require like a common emitter, better go for common emitter configuration. You should have a certain equations you have to mention, clear. Uh, you can manage it uh, within 10 marks. So uh, easily we'll be getting 10 marks with a suitable equivalent. Yeah, first of all, circuit diagram, uh, then uh, a simple working, relevant equations. Uh, later you have to draw the equivalent circuits. So all the voltage gain of the emitter followers shown in figure one. So take the gain, beta is equal to uh, 50. Beta means IC by IB, right? Solve the AC load voltage. Refer the diagram. I think uh, in the model question, in the previous year question paper, I have done the similar kind of question. You can refer my previous video. Okay. I think I have done the similar kind of problem. Another question is illustrate the coupling capacitors and a bypass capacitor function in the amplifier circuit. Need for like a coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor. Uh, draw the diagram and justify it. Examine how small signal analysis contribute uh, the understanding, understanding of uh, opti optimization of the uh, amplifier circuit, what key parameters and characteristics should be considered in the small signal operation for effective design performance? It is one of the analytical type questions which uh, has the weightage of 10 marks. 
illustrate beta what is beta ac okay for the transistor amplifier but then how it is represented in the notation okay then additionally explain how does uh, ac beta differ from dc uh, dc counterpart what is the significance of ac resistance of the emitter diode in the transistor circuit the lengthier question is a lengthy question uh, you will not get entire question in the examination at least a part by part you can expect uh, model the uh, ebbers mode and hybrid phi differs represent in the behavior of the transistors and analyze an amplifier with ac effect of dc voltage source and the draw the ac equal circuit for a base biased amplifier vdb amplifier it is also one of the lengthy question so this uh, like a hybrid phi model uh, this is very important actually hybrid phi model okay so you can go ahead with the like a hybrid phi model of the transistor okay draw the circuit diagram equivalent circuit and a simple calculation explain the significance of h parameters in the transistor modeling how does the relationship between H parameters and resistor parameter? This is another probable question. Don't leave this. Okay. At least remember the equal circuit, basic equations and a simple explanation. That is more than sufficient. Okay. These are the important questions from module one. I think if you cover this question, surely you can expect 20 marks, like 20 out of 20 from module one itself. There is no ambiguity regarding how to you know, like a score. So if you follow these basic guidelines, definitely you can uh, make out if you want uh, i'll be putting the link of this particular uh, like module uh, in the description box kindly refer the description box and download that material and you can start preparing all the best for your examination happy learning uh, i wish you uh, like good luck for your examination thank you